Well, digitization in UI is a fact of life uh, because it brings so many advantages uh, in, in industry, in the places that we, we serve in terms of efficiency, in terms of reliability, the capacity to predict what could, could happen. Uh, in terms of utilization of assets, making a better use of all the investment, in terms of safety of people, making sure that you can really help your people to operate more safely into, uh, into every environment, on the capacity to manage a, a company. Of course, there are risks uh, linked to that. But as we all work to di digitization, Schneider on companies of the ecosystem, the level of defense, the level of professionalism, the, the level of protection that we uh, offer to companies, to people, is higher and higher. So at the end of the day, it's a new technology which is changing everything, but it's bringing so many benefits that we are embracing it, our customers are embracing it, and it's very exciting. The headlines here are slowing growth in China, slowing growth globally. Does that pace of digitization continue as rapidly as companies see potential return from weaker growth um, abating? See, it's, it's uh, as, as a world. Well, first, let's, let's not whine and, 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 uh, and cry about the present situation. We are coming from 2018 with a great momentum. I can't comment on 19. We are in quite period, but we exit 18 with, uh, with, uh, with, uh, with a great momentum. Uh, but at the end of the day, we see, on the contrary, digitization is accelerating. It's accelerating not only for research of efficiency and productivity to prepare potentially for harsher times, but also for research of growth, research of more business, new business model. And if you take our sector, the other accelerating thing, which is less commented on, on very much underestimated is the acceleration of electrification, green electrification. Now, I'm not speaking about uh, those kind of solar farms, but bringing electricity in every sector because electricity is fundamentally the energy of any new technology. So IT is accelerating to a very high speed in, uh, in uh, powered by electricity, transition to electric vehicle, uh, new buildings are all electric, Jean Pascal, so all of these are I, good. Apologies to interrupt, to but, but that you are one of the businessmen who bridges Asia and Europe. You're based, I think, still in Hong Kong yep, as well. Sure. Hmm. Are we in danger? And I know you've talked about, about multi-local pathways, no one size fits all, but are we talking about an extreme of that where actually a Chinese ecosystem and a Western ecosystem exist because of political tensions? I, the world is, is global, okay, and there are many global threads between our economies, but I've never seen the world as one, and I think today digital particularly has made that the world is global, but it's even, it's also very local. So as Schneider, we've always chosen to build our company by country. Uh, to make sure that we, we stick to the reality of each and every geography and country. And when you look at the ecosystems in digital between, for instance, China and, and, and the US, they are drifting away, right? That's so you not have, a good thing. Yeah, well, you have to adapt to it. You have to recognize that there are years of culture uh, behind, uh, behind those, uh, those, those, those many countries. And you have to acknowledge those differences. And I believe that the challenge that we have in front of us of each company is to make sure that on one side we leverage our global scale, but at the same time we, we really adapt to every country on every... Uh, and this is one of the reasons I went to Hong Kong, right, to learn Asia yeah. uh, very close to the field. Uh, it's, yeah. a, it's an unbelievable... percent tax rate helps too, I, I would imagine, <laughs> but... Uh, well, yeah. uh, that's, 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 uh, you should, uh, that's because you don't know the prices in Hong Kong, right? Yeah. On the in oh, Hong no, Kong. I had a decade uh, in Hong Kong. Hong Kong. No, no, no. Jean-Pascal, no, no, no. I, I wonder sometimes why I bothered coming back to Europe, to be to honest. Work no, no, no. Plus, plus, to work with me, To work with me. Plus that 50% tax.